Well, it's Monday about 6.30. Car's unloaded. Probably gonna wash something tonight. Everything needs wash. Rugs inside of the trailer. Inside of the truck needs cleaned. Outside of the truck needs washed. See what's going on. Pit mat's got to be washed. All the rugs need washed. <laughs> that black dirt does a number on the nose, on white. Not just the nose, anything white. after our Friday night repair job. Hmm. Didn't see that.
about 9 15 we are done for the night the trailer all the dirt out of the trailer rugs wash truck wash spray wax put away more to do tomorrow night yeah so is the oil all changed good yeah he's been on it what is this thing I made that. I, I've seen that on a couple of cars. You don't have to spin that fucking nut down a million times. Oh. <laughs> this is saving a little time on here. Yeah. Seems like I spent a lot of time doing that, and it's like, that's a great idea. Yeah. Fixing battle wounds from Saturday night. Doors off. Dave, bolt check it already? Yep, and brakes. And brakes. And see, it's back to standard. Yeah, and I don't know if that's where they want to run it, but that's okay. There it does a setup to the chain. I don't know if you've got mine on the old school. Or... Did you look at anything on the uh, transmission? No, but it's from the puddle there again. He thinks it's from the transmission, but just you can't really tell. I think we get a better sight on it once we uh, get it out there, wash it, get it clean, and back in. Yeah. I hope it, at least. It's definitely training flood. Priming the oil system. set out getting ready to start washing Nicholas is over there vacuuming the rugs we washed last night see ya
line carburetor adapter. So the bottom side always gets dirty because it draws moisture out of the ground and it gets muddy. So what we do is we clean one side and that's the side that goes up at the next race and then we just flip it over, wash the dirty side and that side goes up. So every, every week one side of it's getting washed. If you're a racer and you don't have a pit mat, you're really missing out. It is amazing. This is the first year we've had one, but when you're working on stuff and you drop a bolt or a nut or a washer, you're not fishing around for it in the grass or rocks. You can see exactly where it landed and find it almost immediately. Hooker Hornus makes these and sells these. So if you are in the market for one, check out Hooker Hornets' website. There is a link in the description. The plan for this weekend is we are going to race Friday night at Tri-City Raceway in Granite City, Illinois. And Saturday night, we will be at the Highland Speedway for the Leaps of Love race. That is the tentative plan for this weekend. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Leave us a comment. Share with your friends. We're getting so close to 1,000 subscribers. If you're not a subscriber, you can do so by hitting Darren's race car in the lower right-hand corner. Thank you.